We see finally that 167 with the gold ball. Of course, Brussel beat O'Sullivan at the Crucible last year, quarterfinals of the World Championship. They played since the final of the Shanghai Masters. O'Sullivan won that one 11 9. That was back in September. It all ends here, Neil. Yes, it does. And it's a best of nine for a difference of 125,000. Quarter of a million all. That figure of 125,000 for the runner up. It's probably as valuable a best of nine as we've seen. So many ways to look at this match in that, um, you know, on today's form, you'd say Luca Brussel will win. He's miles better in his semi final against Mark Allen than Woody O'Sullivan was against Judd Trump. But of course, yesterday, different story. Brussel was okay, but O'Sullivan was scintillating. So it's just about what happens this evening. There's no real way of knowing who will win. But Luca is definitely playing better, as he pointed out in his interview. You know, the World Championship form is returning at long last. Three. Yeah, he looked good this afternoon. Mark Allen made two centuries in that match. Brussel made one, he won 4 2. But <laughs> promising opening has not come to Brussel, much. Three. Biggest crowd of the week, as you, I guess, would expect for the final. Sort of occasion O'Sullivan usually responds to. I don't know if you can get through to pop this. That, uh, there's a part of the red sticking out. Maybe just enough to pot it. Just touch and go, I think. There you are. One. There's your answer. I don't think the O'Sullivan factor will be enough for him to win against Luca Brussel. I think you know, even Judd Trump has uh, started not to play well against Winnie O'Sullivan. When at one point he almost had his beating for a period of time. I think if uh, Brazil plays well, then there's every chance he will defeat O'Sullivan. I don't think he's anyone that is a great uh, someone who fears reputations. Seven. And of course, a lot depends on how this man plays. Good queuing, well played. for his fifth title of the season. They've all been big ones, haven't they? Obviously the UK and the Masters, the Shanghai Masters, where he beat Russell more recently the World Grand Prix. I look back through the records, I reckon this is his 124th 15. professional final. And he's looking for his 79th title. 16. Well, he didn't quite stun into them as he'd usually do. The cue ball just gripped and went 20. backwards, which is not really what you're looking for, not for position. And he's not on an easy follow-up red. I expect him to play better in this match than the semi-final. It was actually surprisingly not a classic by any stretch earlier. Tonight is a different ball game though. Sullivan, 23. Yeah, of course, Brussel left it rather late at the Crucible. It was 10 6 down going to the last session. Much longer match. In a best of nine, you're looking for a fast start. If you notice that the uh, golden ball has already disappeared from the table, with the possibility of the 167, 147 plus the golden ball gone in frame one. Didn't go for that. He uh, 
Just played safe from it. A few gasps, but it wasn't an intended pop. all because he hit it too thick and the cue ball doesn't make the journey back to bulk he was up very quickly on the shot We're looking at this red to middle blues not in the way of the potting angle that's a, good shot there. That's a really good shot to hold for the black, as it intended. Nice cannon on the blue. And then with a chance to get the first frame under his belt. earlier we, we sort of judge him to the very high standards because we've seen high standards from him we saw them last 16. night he might not have been at his best earlier but he still beat Trump pretty comfortably well he's, he kind of said that he dragged Judd down a bit I'm not sure about that had Judd played better I suspect Ronnie would that he was waiting for Trump to do something and it never really happened and you just know Twenty-four. He'll be focused for a final. As I said, he's played so many of them. Twenty-five. Brussel was in with an early chance. Will he get another one in this frame? You would think not. Thirty-two. If he does win the title, O'Sullivan, he'll set uh, a new record for most prize 32. money won in a season. He'll go. Over 1.1 million, Judd Trump had held the previous record. And, of course, there's some big prizes left. World Open, Tour Championship, World Championship. Forty. Well, already over the 60-point lead, and it doesn't appear that he's done very much in this frame. Forty. what he has done, he's won it now, firing a snooker when this black is dropped. The next red following it will guarantee the first frame, I feel. <laughs> Coming to an area where we can now extend. So one more 48. red and there isn't any way back for Luca Bussell. Well, there's enough on for O'Sullivan to make what would be a fifth century of the tournament. As I say, it's only the ninth frame he would have won in this event. quickly he plays the shots average shot time is always around about 16 seconds sees the shot and plays it very quickly an absolute natural it always has been 72. doesn't even appear to be playing quickly like some 72. players rushing round but when he gets to the shot he, he threw it very soon afterwards
Seven. This century happens. This is very acute red to middle if he's looking at it into the left middle. Well, he's already playing better, you have to say, than this afternoon, which is ominous for his opponent. The ton is still on. What a start for the seven times world Eight. champion. Is he going to add Saudi Arabia to the long list of countries where he's won big titles? Nine, two, one. Well, it's a shame the blue stays out, but it's still a great start for Ronnie O'Sullivan here in the final of the Riyadh season World Masters of Snooker. He leads Luca Brussel 1-0.